Hello everyone, I'm Luke, and today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to get started with deploying a Node.js application on the OpenShift Developer Sandbox. You can provision your own instance of the Sandbox by going to developers.redhat.com, but for the sake of time, I've already provisioned my own, so let's hop over to that one. So once we're in the console, and this base typology view, there's nothing here, so let's click the Add button here, and then we're going to click on Import from Git. I'm going to paste in a URL from the NodeShift starters organization on GitHub. It's a very basic REST application using Express. You'll notice that OpenShift has detected that it's a uh, Node.js application, so it's going to use this Node image. We can keep all our defaults here. We scroll down and we click Create. You'll notice that it has created our application. Uh, this will be our deployment. But right now it's light blue, which means it's pending. And if we cover over this little thing right here, it said our build is running. So if we click that, we can actually see our build running. It might take a few minutes because what it is doing it is um, importing our uh, Git repository. And it is also building a container image. And once this container image is created, it actually will um, upload that to the internal registry that OpenShift has for use with our application. So if, if you were familiar with uh, Docker, this should look very familiar. You'll notice here that it's installing all of our dependencies, which is the npm install. While this is building, we'll hop just quick over to the Node, app, the Node Shift Application Starters uh, organization on GitHub, where I got the REST application from. Uh, this organization also has other various cloud native node applications uh, to start uh, as examples and to start with. We'll click back here. Our build is almost done, so we'll click back over to the topology view and wait for it to finish there. So we'll just hover over this. You'll notice our build is still running. And now we see that it's complete. And we, now that we have, now we can see that our node application is running. So if we click on the on the actual on the circle, it'll give us some information about what this pod is. So we see that we have when we click on details, so we see that our pod is running. If we click on resources, we can actually view the logs of that pod, which as we should expect, it's calling the node process to run our application. Now to view the application that we just deployed, we can click on this section right here at the top right. We can open our URL, and here we have our very basic REST application, where if we click this button, it'll bring back a greeting, hello world. Or I can type my name in and press the button again, and it'll say, hello, Luke. So as you can see, it only took a few minutes to deploy a Node.js application using the OpenShift Developer Sandbox. Check it out at developers.redhat.com, and see you in the next video.